Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 15, and this is war number two. And we're going up against an alliance called Reign of Assassins. We fought them before, but this war is going to be a little different. So we've already discussed paths and everything. You remember I talked about it last war. Someone took my path. I was not very happy about that. But that did not happen this time. And I will be taking my normal path, uh, which is path one. I ranked up my Gladiator Hulk for this path. I have never lost with Gladiator Hulk on that path. All right. And as you can see, I went in first. So I had to wait a little bit till I got enough energy. I actually ran in there hoping to catch my path before somebody else accidentally took it. But I need not worry. Uh, we're doing things a little bit differently and it's more structured right now. All right, so first fight, we're fighting this Cyclops. Now, they've chosen some defense tactics that gives a boost to villains. Um, now the defense tactic, I think it's Siphon, uh, got upgraded and Bottom line is, you don't want to get hit, okay? They get crazy block penetration. It's on a timer. So if they hit you or they make contact, then they're going to have this timer. And while that timer is going, while they have that buff, they're going to hit really hard. So you just have to be aware of it. Uh, if you do make contact and you see the timer... Just dance around. Maybe don't even parry because it will hurt. They have block penetration as well. All right, so you saw we were able to take down that Cyclops without too much difficulty. And now we're fighting Yellow Jacket. Notice that they are villains, and you can see the defense tactic siphon uh, right there. So that's what we're having to deal with. But I'm going to go in here. Anytime I see Yellow Jacket, I think Starkey, all right? And you can see he is a villain. So I go in with Starkey because with Starkey, he's a glass cannon and I don't want to get hit anyway. So the first thing I'm gonna do is build up my poise charges because the quicker I can get this yellow jacket down, the better. Now, I know Starkey is not for everyone, but I love him. All right, so you see that right there. He's got that buff, but here we go. And I'm just dancing around, okay? The buff is uh, about to go a little bit. Here we go. And finish him off. So not too difficult, but it is something that you want to bear in mind when you're fighting uh, with anyone that has chosen defense tactic siphon. It has been upgraded. All right, so they did not place anyone there. So... We're already at the final block, okay? Now, I was told to take this Doom, and I was telling folks, okay, um, I will. I'm always eager for a fight, but I have not soloed Doom yet in war. Starkey is actually a good counter. Just don't get hit, of course. We all know uh, Doom is a villain. He is tagged as a villain. So we've got that defense tactic to worry about as well on top of all the rest of his shenanigans. And if you've watched me fight Doom before in previous wars, then you know that uh, I usually make a mistake somewhere, somehow. All right. Now, you saw there, I actually remembered this time to heal up first before using that health boost. And I'm taking this fight seriously, as you can see. And I'm really going for the one shot. Now, we're more than likely not going to win this war. We had uh, five people join us uh, just before the war. New folks, untested, untried. And one of them just went MIA, did not place his defense, so he was kicked. So we're fighting this war one man down. 
but we're fighting, doing whatever we can. And because we were a little disorganized in the beginning, we did not have good diversity. So chances are uh, we're not, we're, we're at a severe disadvantage. It uh, may be close, but we'll see, we'll see. All right, so with Doom, first thing I wanna do is of course build up my poise charges. Now Doom is on this debuff immune, uh, which is fine because I don't really want to uh, parry him anyway. And you have to watch out for that uh, backslap of his. Uh, I'm always watching up there to see if I am shocked. That is what has caught me so many times in the past. All right. And I know that when you hit him and he has a shield up, you can get shocked. All right. So you saw there all the decks. That lets you know that I did not rely on Spidey's evade. And you see that I was shocked up there. I had the shock debuff on me. When I did, I started dancing around so that I didn't get close to him because if he did a back slap, I was going to be stunned and I was going to eat it. All right. So here we go. Bait out another one. Good. And I'm going to fire off the special two. Even though he is debuff immune. Look at that. I did some good damage on that special two. He may be debuff immune, but... He still takes that damage. And boom, we got him down. That was our first ever one shot of Doom in war. So I was pretty proud about that. I told everybody when I was going in that I was not sure. I had never downed him, you know, in one shot before. So I'm still boosted up. And they were like, okay, well, go ahead and, uh, try that thing I'm still boosted I've got a full health blade blade is actually a pretty good counter for him so I went in now I know how to fight thing uh, with blade especially all right so what you're seeing here is me just trying to do you know a little damage watching his rock charges and the nice thing about blade is that it makes managing those rock charges very easy. So you don't want to push him past 15 stacks unless you are hitting into his block, which because of some buggy AI right now is dangerous to do. They have fired specials right off in my face, right in the middle of my combos. While they're blocking, they'll just stop blocking and attack. So it's a mess, all right? Now, once you have him at 15, with Blade, you have a couple of options. You can bait out a special if you have the special. That's going to wipe out all of his rock charges. If he doesn't have a special ready, you can parry him. Because when you parry, it's going to try to apply a bleed. Now, he is bleed immune, but it will remove several rock charges. I think it's like three rock charges it'll take down. All right, so that's pretty much the fight, managing those rock charges, all right? So here we've got 15 again, so I wanna bait that out. All right, now I have a special one, so I'm gonna, I mean a special two, so I'm gonna fire that off, trying to get as much damage in as possible, all right? And <clears throat> so far, so good. We're doing a pretty good job, okay? Now, one of the dangers with some champions is this thing is awakened. When thing is awakened, that protection that you see there where he, uh, if he has enough rock charges, he's not going to take any damage or reduce damage. Uh, he can trigger that multiple times. In fact, he will trigger it every time you hit above a certain threshold. I forget what that threshold is. But going in, for example, with Corvus fully charged up, is usually a bad idea all right so here I am and I'm looking at the time and I'm like okay um, we're not gonna do this uh, it's it's too low uh, I mean the uh, time is running out his health is not too low and I'm like okay well I'm just gonna try to do as much damage as possible you know keep going but at this point in time I'm pretty sure that 
I'm not gonna be able to get him down. But we have other people that will be able to finish him off. And I kinda hated that, but it's a lesson learned. All right, and you see right there, I got hit. I had, what, five seconds left, and I pretty much gave up. I was like, okay, that's enough. Um, I was watching up there. I tried to dash back, but I dashed back too early, and he pounced on me. But even if I had not, it wouldn't have mattered. Um, we were not getting him down. All right, so I'm talking to another uh, alliance mate here, and we're deciding who's going to go in. He has Void. Uh, I'm still boosted. And so we're like, okay. And I said, well, I can go in with Starkey, um, which was what he suggested. But from what I just told you, that's what we were worried about, or I was worried about, that if I went in with Starkey, he would possibly hit too hard. Now, there's a chance that I would just not build up poise charges, of course, and be okay. But with the war this close, I didn't want to risk that. So we're just going back and forth. I'm like, yeah, and he's like, okay, well, I'll go in. And while we were talking, another alliance mate went on in and, uh, as you could see, took down the boss, finished him off. All right, so that's it. And like I said, we are the underdogs right here. I don't think we've won. Uh, I believe they have more points. We left up defenders. Our diversity was not that good. All those things will be corrected by next war. But for this war, uh, let's see how we did. All right. And we're back. We've got 30 seconds left to find out how we did in this war. Pretty sure I know, but it'll be close. Uh, if we were to win, it would be miraculous, let me tell you. Um, but uh, as I mentioned earlier, some things will change. But there were full clears all around, so it's going to come down to diversity, which ours sucks. Uh, and I believe they had more points than we did. All right, so let's find out. War ended. Results will be available soon. All right. And no pop up. So let's look at the history. Whoa, we won. Wow. Okay, that is impressive. Look at the score. Let's let's take a look at the details here. Wow. I am very surprised. Yeah, we beat them on the fighting, for sure. And uh, they definitely beat us on diversity. Wow. And as you can see, uh, we were down one, but we actually beat them. So just after the war started we had this guy in our war room chat trash talking us now i always have my war chat turned off so another alliance mate posted a screenshot to our uh, main chat group so that we could see this now i don't know who he is other than uh the one that actually placed the thing boss that i fought and I don't even know what he's talking about or who he's talking to. But since he referred to making a video about how you always think you carry the team, I was thinking, okay, well, I make videos, but I've never made a video talking about how I carry the team. I don't even think that way because I tend to take the easier paths and let the stronger fighters take the harder fights so there'd be no way that i would even think about myself carrying the team but he may not have been talking to me he may have been talking to one of the other alliance mates of mine that perhaps posted up a video in one of the chat groups that they share i don't know honestly um, but he was correct that our diversity was bad and we've taken steps to correct that. That is why I don't mind showing the diversity because, yeah, it was bad. But 
one of the things that I wanted to thank him for was lighting a fire under us. Because when this was posted in our Alliance chat, we changed our focus. Now, previously, we were going into this fight one man down and we already knew we were not going to put in a great effort. You know, we weren't going to use a whole bunch of items or anything like that to win because, you know, one war, who cares? But when this was posted, uh, my alliance leader and a few other alliance mates were like, oh, no, now we've got to beat him. Don't bother responding. Don't bother engaging in any kind of trash talk. Beat them with one man down and with our terrible diversity, and let that be our response. So, to you, OGB Killer, thank you for lighting a fire under us and giving us that motivation we needed to win this war. So this is definitely dedicated to you. So that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to click that like button. Uh, if you have not given me a subscription already, feel free to give me a subscription. Uh, leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought about the video. And you all have a blessed day.